Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on Clinical SAS Adam Programming. In this video, we will see an example of creation of criteria flags in BDS datasets. So we will see an example wherein we will be creating the criteria for multiple parameters and these criteria are based on the eval which is analysis result. And we are populating criteria on all rows and flagging only on the met rows. So we'll see what does that mean. So let us go to the specification. We have crit1 and crit1fl. The label for crit1 says analysis criteria 1 and for crit1fl it says criteria 1 evaluation result flag. So let's see the derivation for crit1. It says set to systolic pressure less than 100 on the records where param cd is equal to sysbp and set to diastolic pressure less than 60 on the records where param cd is equal to dia bp in one of the previous examples i think we have seen wherein criteria was populated only on one of the parameters but here in this case crit1 is being used to evaluate uh, separate conditions for these two parameters so crit1 same uh, criteria one variable can be used to check for different criteria on different parameters we cannot check different uh, criteria within the same parameter but it has to be at parameter specific so with the same crit1 variable for systolic pressure we are checking whether it is less than 100 for diastolic pressure whether we are checking it is less than 60 and we are populating it on all the rows where param cd is equal to sysbp or dia bp respectively and then for crit1 fl it says for the records where param cd is equal to sysbp set to y on records where eval is less than 100 otherwise set to n if eval is not null so on all the records where eval is not null if eval is less than 100 so we are being asked to set it to y otherwise we are being asked to set it to n so we'll have to leave crit1 fl as null when the eval is null on that record and then crit1 fl for param cd is equal to dia bp it says set to y on the records where eval is less than 60 else set to n if eval is not null so let's see how we can programmatically implement this so here we will be using our vital signs data set as example we have data for one subject with systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure and with the analysis values reported here so here i am creating a temporary data set called vs01 using vs by applying format of date 9 to adt and drtstt and then i am using that vs01 data set as input to create vs02 data set i am creating the crit1 and crit1fl in this step so for paramen is 1 for sysbp and paramen is 2 for dia bp so i am using paramen value instead of param cd so if paramen is equal to 1 which is nothing but if param cd is equal to sysbp then do so we were asked to populate it as systolic pressure less than 100 in crit1 for all those rows of systolic blood pressure so we are directly assigning the text systolic pressure less than 100 on all rows of systolic blood pressure and then but crit for crit1 fl we were asked to check if eval is less than 100 or not if that is the case we were asked to populate it as y so for all the records of sysbp we are entering into this loop and then we are populating it as systolic pressure less than 100 and then we are checking if the result is less than 100 or not for that parameter so uh, par for parameter we have upfrontly checked and then only for those parameters these lines of code get executed so for paramen 1 if eval is less than 100 and it is not missing then we are assigning it as y else if eval is not is equal to missing so on all the records where it is less than 100 it was supposed to be y otherwise if it is eval is not equal to missing then we were asked to populate it as n so we are doing that here so similarly we are doing that for the next parameter in these lines of code else if paramen is equal to 2 which is nothing but our dia bp so if paramen is equal if param cd is equal to dia bp then do on all the records of param cd equal to dia bp so the crit one was supposed to be diastolic pressure less than 60 so we are assigning that for crit1 variable and then we are checking if eval is not null and eval less than 60 if it is meeting the condition we were asked to populate it as y in crit1 fl so we are doing that here else if eval is not is equal to missing so we are we were asked to set it to n so we are doing that here and then we have ended the 
conditional do groups here in this case. So let us take a look at our VS02 data set and see how this is getting reflected. So in all the records where param cd is equal to sysbp, we should have had the grid one populated as systolic pressure less than 100. And all the records where that value was less than 100, it was supposed to be y. The other records where if eval is not null, it is supposed to be n. So here on all these records, the value is n because eval is not less than 100. So here we have this fifth record, which says eval is 97. So the condition is met here. So the criteria is populated on all records and in the flag variable. So we are setting it to y if the condition is met. Otherwise we are populating it as n. Say for example, if uh, the result is missing here on the week uh, one. So this should have been left null. So we have handled that in the program. So similarly, let us take a look at the cases for dia BP. So we were asked to use the text of diastolic pressure less than 60 on all rows of dia BP. So we are getting it. And we were asked to populate it as y if it is less than 60. So here, if we see that the value is 45, so we have the grid one FL populated as y. Otherwise, if eval is not null, so and if it is greater than or is equal to 60, so we were asked to set it to n. So we are setting it to n. So here, if we see, there are two other records where the result is 52 and 56. So as this value is less than 60, so we are populating it as y. So this is one other implementation, uh, one other way of implementation of uh, criteria flags. So same criteria, uh, same crit variable is used for checking for different criteria for different parameters. And then on the crit one FL, we are populating it as y on the met records and n on the not met records. So thank you for watching and keep learning.